Welcome back, everyone. We warmed up today across the Cowboy State, but it might seem to some like we're still struggling to get up into that typical summer pattern. Winter may have seemed to have hung on for dear life well into April, and now we're dealing with the latter part of May, or we saw the latter part of May, rather, that was one of the coldest on record. Part of that came from cold front after cold front, hitting Wyoming, sweeping in from the north. But where did this pattern come from? Well, Jordan Frazier has been looking into this for us. Jordan, we know the fronts come from the north, but where are they actually originating from? It's really going to be right around the North Pole. The pole planet tries to keep equilibrium in terms of temperatures, and that's what causes frontal systems. Cold fronts originally start out with the cold Arctic air from the north. Then the jet streams, and you have the polar jet streams and the tropical jet streams, they start to bring it down to the warmer temperature areas, which tend to be, you know, continental United States and even t heading toward the equator. Part three, they form as frontal systems because they typically clump together. Here's what I'm talking about. Let's look at this North Pole flow. You can see just generalized systems. So that white dot there is the North Pole. Then the systems themselves start to form together and push farther south. And this is just a three-day outlook from right now all the way until Saturday. And you can already see just how much headway these systems have pushed through. And on top of that, think of the plan or the atmosphere more as a moving fluid and what causes lots of that fluid to move well that's going to be some of the very strong wind gusts the North Pole here is right above the banner that's where we have some stronger winds kind of just pushing these entire systems all the way down into the southern regions and of course the stronger the winds are the stronger the system is which is typically when we see that Wyoming wind come into the forecast right before a frontal system comes through that's just these entire weather systems worldwide moving down into certain areas. Of course, you have places like mountains and lots of moisture starting to affect these systems. And you can even see just kind of the circular motion of some of these systems pushing through. And again, this is just a future cast of three days out from now. And you can see just how massive some of these systems are as they continue to push through. Granted, we're at that time of year where we're not seeing a whole lot of cold fronts, but you can still just see the fluid mechanics of the entire planet at its, at its best, and that's what causes all of our weather systems. Right now, we are in a La Nina pattern, and what does that mean? And that's kind of what's affecting our weather right now. Well, it means we have colder Pacific water, and the oceans are a big part of the weather systems. That means cold temperatures and less moisture, typically for the western United States. But it also causes a difference in the eastern United States. This is going to lead to an increase in tornadoes, hurricanes, and record heat out to the east, which is exactly what we've seen this year. Stay tuned. I have your full forecast coming up.